I'm Shayla and I say yay. So, <clears throat> this is the first of a set of videos that is inspired by the fact that I have been binge watching Cindy read with Cindy because all hail the book goddess. Um, but I actually ended up reorganizing my usual photo video shooting space with some pizzazz and the lack of fashion that I have. So, I'm going to show you guys stuff, and today is just going to be a going through art I have made in my brand new organizing s organized space. So, let's do that! Just look at our little art space here. This is my mm, kind of makeshift uh, art thingy. This is the uh, 2020 panic video piece, and I have much improved the area, and it will no longer be only for... Uh, Anti Bob Ross. The new space overall. Ha he ha ha ha. Um, yeah, so this is my new setup for the space when it comes to painting. So I'll probably be doing more painting videos like this in this area. And then comes my lovely new reorganized table space with all of my paints, which are going to slowly scatter my empty cup of eggnog, and my paintings. So yeah, there's not a small amount of them. So we are going to go through some of those paintings today and check out what have I been up to this year, because these are all this year, yeah. And then just for future, more paintings in future. And hey, I, uh, I found uglies at the back of a book box, so maybe we'll do a review. Who knows? Let's try that out. Why the heck not? But that's not this video. Today, we look at the paint. Question, can you hear my partner discussing things with his best friend while I am talking? Uh, inaudible. Okay, let's uh, begin. Let's start with the big ones. First things first, we have the 2020 angst piece that I did while, uh, uh, for the end of the semester th this year at the beginning of spring, beginning of summer, end of spring. So, you know, like May when all of the March stuff had begun, but we were still smack in the middle of the first quarantine section. Um, this was an entire process which was kind of entertaining and I was just letting off some steam getting that one done. Super fun. Uh, next we have one that was actually a little bit earlier than that but that I didn't complete until about June. I took some reference photos including uh, lake photos with the trees that are really cool had just that little bit of green starting off in the set end section there. And also a reference from a time that I was wandering down by the lake and I just uh, kind of found a dead deer. So that was a thing and I was like, you know, let's do it. So I drew this guy in here and it worked out really well because this entire picture, I don't know if you can tell super well from the video, but the entire picture has a kind of warped in feeling because I used a panoramic photo, so it ended up getting a slight fisheye lens here that I was trying to uh, maintain as I was drawing this. And granted, the original photo has more branches, but this was simplified for sake of clarity of what I was trying to go for when drawing it. All right, let's see. Next we've got the, uh, let's call this a period piece <laughs> because it uh, is, and it honestly works whichever direction you put it. I know uh, I've had multiple reactions to this where people are just like, yep, mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm, yep. That's how it feels. Cramps are the death of everything. All right, and then we have this lovely nightmare creature who is just a monstrosity in the woods. I've had people describe this as just a cryptid, a decaying werebear, don't like that one as much but it was kind of interesting 
and as a uh, corruption of something that was supposed to be better. I had a lot of fun painting this one. Played a lot of horror music. I was getting into my Halloween theming when I got that one done. Uh, this next one is actually one of my favorites from this year. Uh, my Cosmic Dragon, who is just so pretty. Um, this is one of the first times I was using acrylic and trying to get that palette knife feel without actually using the palette knife. I used a lot more wide strokes with my big uh, wide brush that I got during the middle of the year and used some TikTok techniques when doing the paint splatters for the... Uh, you know, kind of starry, cosmic background look. Was very happy with how she turned out. And then a botched video that I recorded and then my computer decided to die. Uh, drawing a medieval style cat where you don't look at any references and just try to draw a cat. <laughs> turned out okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just uh, leave that as that is. <laughs> and then one of the first pieces that I did on a wood backing was this lovely puppy, Game Over, that was just vaguely Undertale inspired just because of the red slash. I've always loved that kind of aesthetic of the slash through the air. I like that kind of style in anime too, so I decided to take the surrealist look onto it of what does heartbreak feel like? So, yeah, if you can relate, comment, like, and subscribe. Not in that order. All right, let's get to the smaller paintings. Oh, and also not going to touch that painting because it's a little more personal and nobody gets to see that <laughs> ever. Kid, don't give okay. Let's begin at the beginning. Heck yeah! Okay. And I don't know if you want to call it a sunset or a bisexual flag. I don't freaking care, but I had a lot of fun painting it. Okay, moving on. Let's move on. Nope, nope, not that one. That one is a present that is not complete yet, and that hasn't been delivered because it's not Christmas yet. Okay. Here's my lovely little laying dragon. Again, I really like the lake aesthetic. Uh, I only have to drive a little ways to get there, so I more often uh, have that in my mind. So I drew my lovely little lanky dragon with her almost ethereal uh, wings and mane and just kind of draping and before someone says weavern yes i am aware that it has only four limbs technically however dragon is a dragon is a dragon and whoever says so differently is me in the past because let's be honest if you like dragons at some point you had a what is a dragon and what isn't phase this is a absolutely fun piece that I did uh, after rereading through the Stormlight archives for the first time this year because I was getting ready for the new book coming out, which is now out and which I am audible listening through. No spoilers. Um, but this is a very uh, important figure in the series itself. He ha pops up in the first book and is a part of the normal lore, so it's not really a spoiler to just say who this is, but this is my version of the Stormfather, because I always got this very, uh, not quite benevolent. He's kind of a bit angry, but at the same time, he's very caring for those that he reigns over. And he's one of the few people that I never really saw with a beard so much as with the long hair just streaming into the wind. Um, so I hope you enjoy that if you are a Brand Sanderson or a Stormlight Archive fan. Tell me what you think about it. Stormfathers. Still one of the ones that was one of my favorite paintings this year. Alright, let's see. 
Ah, yes, I was practicing landscapes. Not much more to say about that. Looks like uh, southern Utah or Arizona. Arizona was on my mind this year, to be fair, because of what I've been writing. <laughs> Ooh, this one was a lot more fun. Whoops, that's upside down. This one was a lot more fun. It is my just abstract desert trying to go for that using of the primary and secondary colors throughout it. Just that awesome feeling of just getting down a proper sunset feel of the desert more than the actual look of it. So that was really fun to do. I actually ended up entering that into a contest though. Alas, that one did not make anything of itself. Ooh, this is one of the first ones I did this year, actually. This was dead of winter. Drove over to the lake and drew it while there was still ice forming on parts of the lake. I don't know if I got it super well, but there's like the little pieces of ice there, little areas where it was still watery or had water on top water in the distance turning into the same color as the mountains, just all of that grass growing up. You got your smattering idea of the clouds. This was another one where I very much was having fun with, this one legitimately was with a palette brush in parts because it gets a lot more um, oil painting look, which I absolutely love. So that one was super fun to do. <laughs> <laughs> this one was actually done right before the 2020 swirl video. <laughs> we were challenged to uh, <laughs> draw ourselves in portrait, <laughs> make a portrait of yourselves. And it was right after we had the challenge to try and uh, try and use limitations. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to use primary colors. Didn't work super well because I actually just drew out the like old scout shirt that I just love when it's adventuring time and uh, turned into a very interesting piece. <laughs> but I, I had a lot of fun I had to repaint this multiple times part of uh, how this used to be was I my first round I made it like way too thin of a face and I had to look at references of myself which I don't know if you guys I don't know I found it weird because I thought that I knew what I looked like but I did not know what I looked like and even this is still a little bit weird but it was intended to be because I wanted to catch the shadows but still have that like distinctly uh uh primary colors in areas which was super fun to do I keep saying the word super fun that's mostly because painting to me is that this was my much better portrait afterwards that was what mm, I think this was in July-ish, that I just tried to catch that, you know, instead of doing the primary color one, that would be my art painting work. This is my catching the essence of who I would be as an author. You can see that, like, just a hint of madness in those eyes. It's great. I love it. Pretty fantastic. Found a great photo of myself, in my opinion, and just drew the crap out of it. Lighting looks amazing. Look at that. Look like you're just staring into the sun. I don't know. I, I, I love it. I love it so much. So if I do author photos, this legitimately might be mine for a while. All right. Let's see. Oh, I need to plug this in. Give me a sec. Pokies. Let's see. What's next? Ah, yes. Another COVID thing. This was the one from March. I had that little yellow figure just kind of feeling utterly crushed by the circumstances going in because, man, that was a crazy march. All the things and peoples and things on fire. That also, things were on fire. But just getting it all done, I don't know why, but this little dollop made it feel complete for me. And just getting that feel of the plugway. Don't know where I paused that. Okay. Next up we have this absolutely lovely reflections piece of 
uh, Mount Timpanogos, which is a mountain over in Utah County, that is just absolutely stunning view at the top. This is not quite what it looked like because the river, it's got a cute little pond up there that is actually a little bit smaller than this, but the feel of the, uh, uh, just that feel was what I was going for with the lake pond right there. I was trying to make it so that it felt like the uh, edge of the pond was kind of right there, but I had a lot of fun with getting the reflections in here. Reflections have always been something that I just constantly struggle with. So if you got, uh, I don't know, uh, any advice with that? It's always fun and welcome. I always love watching uh, pictures of people uh, giving advice on how to do particular ideas in paintings. Oh, this one also got put into a uh, submission, and this one is actually going to be in a uh, university journal because it was pretty and thus it was chosen. All right. This one also I absolutely love. It can be either direction, but it was originally painted like this. Very fun to display like that. But it is... Um, this one I called Faith. It was just kind of on that basic idea of... Uh, well, I was thinking about the Bible story where... Who is it? Uh, basically Christ calls to, to the a few of his disciples on the boat and one of them steps off and at first he's like walking just fine and then he goes bloop because he realizes oh my gosh it's water why am I walking oh no and the whole allegory is losing faith and gaining faith so I called this one faith this is the bloop of him going under the water just I don't I, it just made me happy. And then just the splashing. This was another one that I very much was going for that oil painting look using the palette knife just to get some of those nice waves and little splatters on the sky uh, as I painted this. Which, it was a very fun one. Very, 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 very fun. Oh, oops. This one's actually from last year. But I don't think that I've ever done a year in review. So... Let's just show uh, the progress uh, from this, because this was, I think, my first proper plain air painting. I actually drew this one while I was down by the lake in last end of December, I think? Maybe mid-November. But this... It had all of the grass had died, and I just ended up being there on this perfectly clear day. Like, it was freaking gorgeous. I got the perfect reflection, and the mountain was being there, and we had just a little bit of clouds so that you could get the clouds and the sun in their spaces in the reflection as well and it was just super fun to have these really dark trees just kind of in silhouette and i tried to catch that by doing a more textured feel because i've never uh, like i said first plain air drawing first one i actually did outside so i just globbed it on to try and get that same feel of the bark and it just feeling kind of crunchy and rough so that was super 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 fun to do Alrighty, now on to the itty bitty little ones that is blank all right this one i don't know i was just feeling it so it's just got a lot of flowers painted the edges on the back too it just made me feel happy so I did that one uh, this one I was trying to invoke my own creativity and I was like brain so I drew a brain 
very stylized, obviously. You've got dead, like, little bubbles of thought coming off. Still wondering whether there's anything I need to add to this. I don't know if you like, like, a little streak of green, maybe. I don't know. Need to sign this puppy, but, woo, gorgeous. Super fun to do. And now comes my absolute angst and anxiety one. Uh, this one was while I was feeling absolutely terrible. So I decided to be like, you know what? I should paint the crap out of that since my period piece worked so well. And I just did. I got all the paints. I got the mixes I needed. I used all the different things I was aiming for. I had little brushes and wider brushes and just whether it was figures, because this was also during the uh, stressing about George Floyd and that whole stressful situation that still annoying that it continues because guys, people are people are people. Can we stop killing each other? Like that is, I don't understand how it's controversial. But, you know, the feel was just a lot of anxiety and not feeling like I was able to make an actual difference in the world, trying to figure out what it meant to me personally and how I could help. And a lot of that resolved uh, with me being able to paint it out so that the emotions weren't... Uh, felt expressed so i was able to think about it a little bit more and i was able to make some progress towards what i could do and how i handle uh doing things uh this one still confuses me because this was actually done only a couple days later than that one but instead of the like absolute anxiety, just let's, let's just plop them over here. Instead of the more like anxiety, contemplative, uh, almost meditatively busy of this one, this one was more of a oh, that's that's weird. Did I make this a continuation without thinking about it? No. I don't know there's some interesting parallels there i didn't notice before there's maybe you can do a psychology test on that you've got the green there you've got the reds and you've got the orange slash and then yellow and red and now the yellow and the red are together and now the blue has rained down into the section here and i don't know whatever uh but this one was a lot more of a uh uh, dealing with figuring out what it means to me to honestly is kind of a what does it actually mean to be a girl to me so it's I don't know I don't know my mind was very 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 hectic ooh this one was a challenge. Uh, not because it was challenging, but because I took a challenge. Essentially, you take a handful of paints that you like the color of, and then you go, and then wherever they land, that's where you paint their color. So, a dark blue there, light blue, some brown, swoosh, it was awesome. Actually, I have some really funny pieces that I added a little bit of color for, like, this one was the paint paint tube was just off the side so I was like you know what why the heck not did that in a couple of places it was super fun super fun to do cute little challenge very good way to get some lovely little abstractions going in there play with your shapes eh not my favorite this was another one during that time I was doing landscapes I was like what if the land was the lightning and the clouds were like the mountain so i did like a spring mountain and then the rain down onto the purple ocean i don't totally know what i was doing other than it was mildly thinking about a stuff and yes this one was my less successful stormlight archive painting because i was trying to figure out what a storm wall would look like but then i remembered that they don't have grass in the same way 
So that was a problem, and so I never really figured out what to do with this one. I feel like I want to add something to it to figure out what's going on, make it a little more stark, but until then, it's just kind of a fun little uh, landscape. And, uh, one of the funnest of the landscapes I did, and it's got a very interesting sky, and I had a lot of fun doing texture on this. It's was supposed to be kind of a prairie hill originally end up feeling a little bit more like a dune i don't know tell me in the comments which one does it feel like more to you is this a dune or a prairie but it's regardless one of my absolute favorites that i did landscape wise okie smokey dokie and the plain desert which again this one I want to put something here. I want to add someone or something. But every time I stare at it, it feels complete and it confuses me. So I might need to sign it or I might need to figure out what I want to put in it. Anywho, that is my Art of the Year collection. And my desk. Oh, easier to reach the paints. All right. And that will be all because i didn't do a ton of sketching this year i did a lot more painting than i did sketching but i did do a couple i'm too lazy to go and find them so behold huzzah and hopefully look forward to some more videos in the future my goal is the next one is going to be a review of rereading uglies when you are no longer in high school so i hope everybody has a fantastic day i hope you liked this a uh, year of art in review and maybe look forward to some future videos i don't know tell me in the comments what you're thinking like remember to subscribe if you're into that kind of thing and ring a ding that little bell if you're not annoyed by youtube notifications all right I'll see you guys later. Peace out and yay! Thank you for everyone for your support. And remember, thank you especially to my number one patron, Gladinoob, on Patreon. If you wish to look at Patreon or if you wish to wait until you see a few more videos, there is a scrolling list of videos. Feel free to peruse. But hey, that's a thing. If you like what I do, then go ahead and support. But glad new, you're a boss. All right. See you later, everybody. Yay!